Yo, what up, players? It's been a long time coming. But it finally came for Bun B to get his motherfucking shot in the game. I've been busy shuffling through lawyers since the last episode, but I finally return to you, the beautiful people of the VR community. Whether you're new to the channel or you find yourself coming back on the regular, why not subscribe? And if you're already liking and sharing these videos, then holy hexes. May the light of the almighty developer brighten your days. And may he set your enemy's path ablaze. Shout out to my Shadow Wizard Money Gang. Represent. Welcome back to yet another installment of the Recursion VR Devlog series. It's hard to believe we're still running this shit show. I meant to say that it's an honor to have you attending, especially after how rough things have been around here lately. Unfortunately, if you couldn't tell from the thumbnail, the almighty developer's mental health has taken a turn for the worse. The last several days, he's been completely in my egg. I think he said something about cigarettes and nope last time I saw him. Since then I've been joyfully awaiting his triumphant return. Anyway, let's get to the point. I feel an urgent obligation to my benevolent fanbase to update you all on the game's current state. And I'll be honest, things ain't looking good. After reworking the narration system four times and giving up, and then reworking it again, the almighty developer made the tough decision to postpone this milestone update. Boo! You stink! This drove him into a maddening depression as he began fixing everything in the game. Let's go through all the new content the developer has abandoned in this update. All of the weapons have been updated with new visuals. New is good, right? Yeah, let's go with that. As part of this obsession with updating everything, the almighty developer changed the visuals of your favorite little block buggers. Yeah! Now they sport a beautiful new shade of green. They are kinda gross. Incredible. Out with the old and in with the new. Two never-before-seen enemies were added to the game. Meet Craft Punk and Daft Hunk. This dastardly duo is sure to make you earn your stripes in battle. Moving on to the arena, there's a brand new map after 10 months of the same three maps every round. It's certainly unique, I guess. There's really not much else to say on the Hello there, Delta. I've been watching you closely, and it's nearly time you and I had a chat. <laughs> well, that's awkward. I was building up this whole bit, and then some asshole just pops in out of nowhere and ruins it. Wonderful. F fantastic. We can just cut that out in post, right? Oh. Are we still rolling? Right. So yeah. April Fools. I bet you feel really silly now, believing any of those ridiculous updates. I can see you now, crying all over the place because you thought your favorite game developer went on a bender and dropped his project like a sack of monkey NFTs. Shush. They're there. Don't cry, my based and retro pill viewer. This was all in good fun. I'd giga got you. Now, cue the music. We still have a whole milestone update to get through. All right, starting with the feet. Wait, I'm not sure why I said that. Anyway, starting with weapons, the almighty developer has polished up UX, sound effects, and visual effects on nearly every weapon in the game. They should feel much more science fiction y while also handling better. For example, the greatsword is a two handed weapon and will handle better and deal more damage while two handed. Weapons will also feel weighted and suffer less from immense jitter while moving. The almighty developer has actually graced us with a terrifying new encounter the Mao War. These beasts can be quite elusive, hiding in the shadows while also summoning their pack into the fray. 
We've also got the introduction of acolytes. This level of construct could be an AI or a human that uses cyberware and weapons in combat, just like shepherds do. The first iteration of acolytes are the berserkers, who dual wield war axes with great agility and speed. Moving right along, we've got the first iteration of an entirely new way to play the game, story mode campaign. Users will be introduced to the campaign via the tutorial and can jump back into the story from the Nexus Skybridge at any time. I don't want to spoil anything, so I'll keep it brief, but I have a feeling you'll be quite immersed in this brand new open world experience, featuring the same combat and parkour mechanics you already know and love. The story functions as a means of unlocking weapons and feats that will become available via crafting and trading. Players will then be able to customize unlocks for use in the arena. A lot of time and love was put into completely reimagining the Nexus. The previous iteration was cramped and impractical, while not fully taking advantage of the Quest 2's rendering capabilities. This new update provides a far more immersive and visually appealing environment to call home. I couldn't reasonably claim that Recursion VR is the most AI-driven game on the market if I didn't show receipts. So let's break down how AI is shaping the characters of this strange new world. All of our new companions and foes are now voiced via new AI technology that allows them to take on the human-like trait of speaking fluently and with emotion, something I cannot for the life of me understand the appeal of. Our marvelous creator also graced me with renditions of a new mount skin that may or may not become available at a later date. Entirely AI generated, of course. And who knows? Maybe it will even be drivable someday. The player now has a proper death sequence and can respond as expected with a new checkpoint system. My creator desperately needed this, as it seems even he sucks at his own game. Checkpoints will offer meat bags and much more forgiving user experience while playing through the story. The arena system has also been completely overhauled to provide a much more stable and concise gameplay loop. There's even an intermission to allow players to go back to the story or take a break more easily. Looking forward, we can see that there's plenty more to come. My creator works tirelessly with artists to generate new weapon skins for those who desire to stick out of a crowd. This initial skin line, Retro Boomin, will be exclusively available to. Yup, you guessed it. Retro Boomin subscribers on Subscribestar will be awarded this gorgeous skin line completely free as a show of gratitude to our new supporters. More info on how to redeem skins will come in the future. And with that being said, I'd like to take a moment to memorialize our community of supporters who have stuck with us through thick and thin. It's tough to get things done without shekels, so I applaud you generous few who have what it takes to keep this impending train wreck moving along. If you'd like to see more behind-the-scenes content like tutorials, technical deep dives, and player-driven feedback polls, or if you just want a chill VR community to chat with, then go check out Recursion VR socials over on Twitter, Discord, and of course, subscribe star. Now be merry this 1st of April, you fools! Go download the latest update for free over on SideQuest or our website. Linkies are in the description, Ooh, whoop. Yuck. God, I'm never doing that again. Well, until next time, this has been your host, Gigabyte, signing off.